Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with a subscriber requested video. So I was recently asked to do a video about um, kind of easy reach perfumes or crowd pleasers. Uh, so I have a ton in my collection because, and the reason that the person asked for me to do this video was because she said that she is always around people and she does not like to wear challenging perfumes at all. She always wants to be wearing crowd pleasing perfumes so that she doesn't offend anybody, which I totally get. Um, I'm usually in the same boat too. With my work, I work around a lot of people, so I'm always trying to reach for something that I know is going to be pleasing to them uh, rather than like a challenging scent that people may not like. Um, so yeah, this was an easy one for me to pull together. I am always reaching for those types of scents myself. So I have a pretty good group here. I think I've got, let's see. I think I've got 15 different fragrances here, so I'm just gonna jump right in. I also put some of my most complimented fragrances in here. Um, not everybody is gonna agree with this list, I'm sure. Some people will say, you know, that they don't like something in here, but these are the fragrances that work for me as well as some of my most complimented fragrances. So, the first one I'm going to start with is one of my favorite easy to reach for fragrances. This is one that if I just don't know what to wear or I don't, I'm not really feeling anything in particular, this is what I usually reach for. This is Stella McCartney uh, Pop Bluebell and uh, number one, I get compliments on this fragrance every time I wear it. It's just, it's such an easy, crowd pleasing just beautiful fragrance. It is a bluebell fragrance, but it does have some sweetness to it. It is a floral, but it's not like a, um, it's not a heady floral. It's not a floral that is going to bother anybody. It's not a floral that anybody is even going to really be able to pick out what the flower is that they're smelling. It's more of just a slightly sweet, very slightly green, fresh floral. It really is a beautiful bluebell fragrance. If you've ever smelled bluebells, um, it really does smell like bluebells with just a touch more sweetness. Very inoffensive, very easy to reach for. I got this huge bottle on Fragrance X for a really good price. And like I say, I get compliments on this every time I wear it and I reach for it a lot. I really, really love it. So that is the first one. That is Pop Bluebell from Stella. Well, Stella McCartney. <laughs> okay, the second one is, this is a niche fragrance, but I know that some of you do enjoy niche offerings every once in a while. Uh, this is one that can be bought in this size as well if you just wanted to try out a small size of this. But when I thought of like easy to reach for fragrances, this is one of the very first ones that came to mind. This is a Cassis from Victoria Minya. And this is a beautiful Cassis fragrance. It's, um, if you guys remember... If you're like a 90s kid like me and you remember the old fragrance called Dewberry from The Body Shop that was really popular in the 90s, this smells almost exactly like that. It is a beautiful, fresh, slightly sweet berry fragrance. Um, very, very easy to reach for. This one... Oh, let me tell you about some longevity too, sorry. So the longevity on the, the Pop Bluebell, I can wear this to work. I do overspray. You can see I've got quite a big dent in mine because when I wear this, I do tend to overspray about 10 to 12 sprays, but this will get me through an entire 10 hour workday if I overspray it. I spray it on clothes, skin, hair, everything, and then I will smell like this all day. This is a really good performing fragrance for me, like I say, if I overspray. Um, the Cassis, this one you'll get maybe six hours out of, I would say six to eight hours. It's not horrible, but this one does, it'll project for the first couple of hours, but then after that, it really does wear pretty close to the skin. 
so it's not like a beast but it's not the worst performing fragrance in the world either and like I say I believe you can buy these um, I think these are 15 mil uh, yeah, I think these are 15 mil bottles. I do believe that you can purchase the 15 mil bottles from Lucky Scent, like if you are interested. But every time I think of like a really easy to reach fragrance, I always think of this one because it it just is. It's gonna be a crowd pleaser. If like I say, if you guys remember what Dewberry smells like, oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful fragrance. I would kill to get my hands on. A bottle of Dewberry from the 90s from the body shop because it smells amazing and this smells really close to that. So that is Victoria Minia Cassis. The first three I have are just coincidentally they come in purple bottles. Um, the next one that I have that I immediately thought of as well is, is Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Peony. So Dolce Garden, I think, would be a very easy to reach for fragrance as well, but it does have a coconut in it, and coconut is not for everyone. This one, however, is safe. It's safer, I would say, than Garden because it doesn't have it doesn't have coconut, it doesn't have almond. This is just a beautiful, sweet floral fragrance. This is another one I get compliments every time I wear it. And that's another thing. Aside from maybe two that I have in here, all of these could be worn any time of year. Um, they're all really great year-round fragrances. <sighs> yes, this is just a beautiful, sweet, fruity floral. It is so beautiful. I get compliments every time I wear this. It's just a beautiful crowd pleaser. It's very, um, oh gosh, it's very heavy on the fruits, but again, it's not any one fruit sticking out that somebody would be like, oh, you smell like apple or oh, you smell like a mango. Um, it's just a beautiful kind of nondescript fruity fragrance. And then the with the way that it's blended with the florals, it just smells amazing. You're just gonna smell like on the verge of edible. It's not quite a gourmand though. It's just this gorgeous, fruity, sweet floral. Very, very unique in my collection. I don't have anything else that smells like this fragrance. I just think it's stunning. It's just a beautiful fragrance and such a super easy to reach for. Just pull it out, spray it on anytime and you're just gonna smell amazing and nobody is gonna complain. So anyways, that is Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Peony. Okay, next I've got a couple of rose fragrances. So I have tons of, I've got 30 plus, probably 35 rose fragrances in my collection. Uh, these are the two that I think are super easy to reach for, um, crowd-pleasing fragrances. The first one is Trussardi Delicate Rose. This is a gorgeous, light, soapy, clean rose. Uh, yes, it's a shampooy rose. Um, very slightly sweet, it's not overly sweet. Very clean, very delicate. Somebody, anybody that smelled this wouldn't even necessarily know that they're smelling rose. It's just a beautiful, very clean, light rose, and this lasts forever. I can easily get through a 10-hour workday with this perfume. I, and I don't even need to, like, I don't have to overspray it. I can go in with, you know, four or five sprays, and I'll be good for the whole day. It's just a beautiful, clean, shampooy rose without being overly sweet. In fact, almost no sweetness at all. It's got maybe just a hint of sweetness. But it's more just about that beautiful, soapy, clean, delicate rose. Really, really beautiful fragrance. In my opinion, this is an underrated gem. This is one of those that it could be, or I mean it is, it's a staple. It's definitely a staple in my collection. It could be a staple in anybody's collection. It's one of those that would just be super easy to reach for, very crowd-pleasing. 
um, you're just gonna smell good and you're not gonna smell overly like rose so that anybody that doesn't like rose um, would maybe be bothered by it. I don't think that they would. So that is Trusardi Delicate Rose. And uh, let me tell you about the longevity of the Dolce Peony. So this one I get about six hours out of. It's not the worst in the world, but it's not the best. And I do have to overspray with this one. So this next one is a beast. This is a great year round fragrance. Um, and this is one of my most complimented fragrances in my collection, hands down. This is Ely's Hob Girl of Now. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is a beautiful, uh, sweet, syrupy, pistachio, orange blossom, beautiful fragrance. It is borderline gourmand. It's almost gourmand, but there's something about the orange blossom that just keeps it from going into the gourmand territory. It is such a beautiful fragrance. It reminds me of, it reminds me of some kind of a dessert, like maybe a baklava or something, that kind of syrupy, nutty, like a pistachio baklava. It is so stunning. Like I say, this is one of my most complimented fragrances, hands down, in my collection. It's a great year rounder, super easy to reach for. This is a beast though, so if you or anybody around you is sensitive to fragrance, you may would wanna go in very light with this, like maybe just a spray or two. Um, yeah, I don't even go in with that much when I wear this to work. I usually do maybe three sprays tops and that's it. Uh, one on my you know, collarbone area and then maybe one on each arm. Um, because it is an absolute beast, but it is stunning. It's, I get compliments every single time I wear this, and this is one of those that I get multiple compliments every single time I wear it. And it's funny because I have one other fragrance in my collection that is another very, very uh, complimented fragrance of mine, but it's a little bit more challenging. It can be challenging for people, and that is Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle. I get the same reaction from that fragrance as I do with this one. Um, but I find that that one can be challenging for people, so I didn't put it in this list. But that is another one that, for me, it's an easy reach, but I don't know that it would be an easy reach for everybody. But this one is, this one I feel like is a pretty easy reach. Um, if you enjoy fragrances like this, I've never ever met somebody in my life that has been like, ooh, your perfume's too strong. I don't like how that smells. Everybody, I get multiple compliments on this every time I wear it. So that is Ely Saab, Girl of Now. Oh, I forgot to talk about the other, I'm sorry, the other rose fragrance. So the other rose fragrance that I was gonna talk about is Nina Ricci and this is, uh, this is Rose X Days and this is like the delicate rose. It's a soapy. It's a soapy shampooy rose, but this one this one has a little bit more rose in it. It's a little bit more rose heavy. Though still not, you know, it's not an overpowering rose. So I will say this one has just a touch more sweetness than the delicate rose. And this also has just a touch of that kind of pencil shaving um, vibe going on, but that kind of dissipates on the skin. And really you just end up with this beautiful, sweet, or slightly sweet, uh, shampooy, clean rose. I think it's either got, um, I think that pencil shaving note is like a, like a synthetic cedar note or something. We'll see. I'll have the notes on the screen, of course. But it's not enough to be off-putting for me. I usually don't like that pencil shaving vibe at all. And if something has that too strongly, I don't keep it in my collection. But this one, it's muted just enough that it kind of isn't there on my skin. But still, a really beautiful, like I say, slightly sweet, clean, shampooy rose. This one I can get a whole day out of. I do have to overspray this like most of my others. Uh, but if I do overspray, I can easily get 10 hours out of it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just a super easy to reach for crowd pleaser. So that is Nina Ricci Rose X Days. 
Okay, and this would not be a crowd-pleasing, easy-to-reach for fragrance list if I did not have a Lanvin on this list. Um, it was hard to pick because all of my Lanvin fragrances, I just feel like hands down, Lanvin is the house that has the most fragrances that are just crowd pleasers, easy to reach for, they're just gonna smell good. Um, you can literally pick m any scent from the house besides maybe like the original Arpege or something that might be a little bit more challenging, but um, any of the modern ones, I feel like you could easily blind buy any single one of them and it would be a safe blind buy. Uh, this one that I'm going to talk about is one of my favorite favorites, hands down. This is called Jean Lanvin, and oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. This gets compared to the discontinued fragrances from Gucci called Gucci 2 that came in that kind of squat little square bottle. And I would agree, um, I, there definitely are some differences but it is in that same family. It's just a beautiful, slightly fruity, sweet floral. Super easy to reach for. Very, very crowd pleasing. Very, very safe blind buy. This is probably, like if I had to pick the safest blind buy in my collection, this is probably what I would pick. I can't imagine anybody smelling this and not liking it. It's just beautiful. It's slightly sweet, it's slightly clean, it's slightly fruity, it's slightly floral, but it's nothing. It's like none of those things or none of those things in it are overpowering. So there's really nothing here to dislike. Um, it's clean. Most of all, I would say, I would say I would mostly uh, describe this as a clean fragrance. It's just beautiful. It's comforting. It's warm. It's one of those fragrances that when you smell it on somebody, it's just going to bring you comfort. It's like what you as a child would want your mom to smell like when she hugged you. And if you grew up with your mom smelling like this all the time, I imagine that this would be the most comforting scent in the world to you. It's just beautiful. It's so affordable to you. You can get this, you can pick it up anywhere. Fragrance Nut, Fragrance X, um, you can pretty much pick it up anywhere for like in the $20 range. It's so, so affordable. And it's just a stunner. Now, longevity on this guy is not great. Um, that's the problem I have with most of my Lanvin, Lanvin fragrances. They don't last more than maybe four hours uh, before they turn into complete skin scents. So these are ones that will need to be reapplied throughout the day uh, two, maybe even three times in a day to, you know, refresh it. But it's one of those fragrances that especially when I'm home, I do not mind reapplying it over and over again because it just smells amazing. So uh, yeah, probably the safest fragrance in my collection hands down. That is Jean Lanvin. Okay, this next one is another one of my most complimented fragrances. Oh my gosh, do people love this. Now this one is going to lean more towards being a fall winter offering. It is definitely a cold weather fragrance, but it is one that I get multiple compliments on it every time I wear it. People absolutely love this fragrance and I can't imagine anybody not liking it. This is a duo fragrance and this is called Palm Fire. So this is from what is called their concept series where they take two fragrances, two like really popular fragrances and mix them together to make like a concept fragrance. So this is, um, I'm trying to think of how I got such a big dent in mine. I must have made a decant for somebody because there's no way I used all that. I bet I made a decant for my mom. But uh, So Palm Fire is by the fireplace from, Re from Replica as well as a Killian Apple Brandy mixed. So you get this beautiful like woody apple fragrance. But it's mostly apple, but it's like apple... It's like woody apple is what it is. It's sweet. It's got this kind of toasty marshmallow vibe to it. 
this beautiful woodiness and this tart, crisp, like Granny Smith apple note. Oh my gosh, it is so good. It is scrumptious. It's something that, it's, it's just what you want to smell like. Um, and I don't know how I got such a big dent. I must have made a big decant for somebody. I'm guessing I made a big decant for my mom, but... Oh my gosh, I love this. But I'll never go through this in a lifetime probably because this is such a beast. You need, I don't know, three or four sprays and it'll easily get you through a 12-hour day. Um, it lasts absolutely forever like most duos do. I love this fragrance and so does everybody else. So if you're looking for just an easy to reach for fall winter fragrance um, and you like apple and woods, holy cow, this is it. It's so good. So that is Dua Palm Fire. Uh, I pulled this one because I think it's an easy to reach for fragrance, definitely, but it's one of my most complimented. So Okay, everything else is going to be just super easy to reach for type fragrances. This next one we're going to talk about is if you literally want to smell like a, a bar of Dove white soap, um, this is it. This is Pure Grace from Philosophy, and that's exactly what this smells like. It smells like a bar of white soap. Oh, it smells amazing. I layer this over the lotion when I do. I'll, I do the whole thing. Like I'll use the uh, body wash and then I'll layer, I'll put the lotion on and then I'll layer this over. I will over spray this 10 to 12 sprays and it will get me through an entire 10 hour workday. And it's amazing. It just smells clean and soapy and like a bar of white soap. It's amazing. I cannot imagine anybody not liking this. You're just gonna smell clean, like you just got out of the shower. Um, yeah, super easy, super easy to reach for. Definitely could be worn all year round. And like I say, if you layer it over the lotion and over spray it, it'll get you through an entire day. So, anyways, that is Pure Grace from Philosophy. This next one is another one of my most complimented. I have been wearing this quite a bit in the last, I don't know, month, month and a half. Um, and I've had the dry shampoo of this for a while. And every time I spray the dry shampoo in my hair and then go to work, uh, people will compliment me on it. So this, it's just a, it's just a crowd pleasing fragrance. This is a uh, Nirvana white from Elizabeth and James. And this is just musk, Lily of the Valley. And I can't remember the third, peony. Peony, musk, and lily of the valley. And it's beautiful. It's a clean floral, um, slightly sweet. Yeah, it's just a clean, very slightly sweet floral. And it's a crowd pleaser. People absolutely love this. I get compliments every time I wear it. This is another one that is just, it's clean smelling. It's slightly sweet. It is one of those that is just going to be a crowd pleaser. Nobody is going to get offended by this in any way. It's going to be an easy one to reach for and just spray on. I, in fact, that's what I've been doing on days where it's like not necessarily cold, um, but it's not really warm enough yet for like a citrus or a really like fruity floral or anything like that. I've been reaching for this a lot because it's just like a perfect just easy to reach for, spray it on, and I know I'm gonna smell good, and I know people are gonna think I smell good. Um, it's just an easy fragrance. So this one is does not have the best longevity in the world. I get about six hours out of this uh, before it completely turns into a skin scent. I have been wearing this one to work, and I, if I spray it on clothing, I can smell it all day long, but if I were relying just on my skin, this would be gone about six hours. So yeah, I do over spray this. I do spray it on clothing and I it'll get me through a work day. So uh, that is Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. Okay, this next one is a dupe fragrance because I don't have the original, but this is a crowd pleaser. Holy cow, do people love this fragrance. This is a dossier fragrance and this is called Floriental Brown Sugar, but this is a dupe for uh, YSL Montpuri and it is just a sweet, like sugary, 
floral fragrance. I think it's got some, oh yeah, it does. Um, it's got patchouli in it and amber and vanilla. It does have brown sugar in it. It's got pear and raspberry in the top. So it is just this beautiful, sweet, sugary, fruity, white floral, and it's just gorgeous. It's got the perfect amount of patchouli in it. And I don't know how the original Montpuri uh, lasts, but the Dossier version lasts a really long time. Um, I do have to overspray this. I overspray almost everything, and that's how I get longevity out of it. I do overspray this, and I can get through an entire workday with it. This is one that it never ceases to please people. People love this fragrance. I get compliments every time I wear it. This is one of those fragrances that even people that aren't in the fragrance community like we are, it's like one of their favorites, you know, because it's just, it just smells so good. So people that don't know anything about fragrance will love and gravitate towards fragrances like this because they just smell good. It's just yummy, it's sweet, sugary. Uh, fruity floral. So that is Floriental Brown Sugar from Dossier, which is a dupe of YSL Montpuri. Okay, this next one is, in my mind, this is more of a cold weather fragrance, but I do think that somebody could get away with wearing this all year round. This is another one of my most complimented fragrances. This is the second bottle of this that I have had, um, and I do enjoy this. The last bottle I had was only a half ounce bottle too. This is only a half ounce bottle. This is Juicy Couture Gold Couture. And yeah, Gold Couture. And this is a beautiful, sugary, burnt caramel fragrance. This is one of my most complimented fragrances in my collection. I've been wearing this for years and people absolutely love this, especially men. Uh, sweet, sugary, caramely, yummy. It's got that juicy DNA, but it's got this beautiful caramel note. And to my nose, it's a it's like a tad bit burnt, almost a little bit like pink sugar, but not but not too much. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful, yummy caramel fragrance, and. Like I say, I've been wearing it for years. I've gotten compliments on it for years. People absolutely love this. The right person could get away with wearing this all year round. But to me, I only wear this in the fall winter because it is quite a heavy fragrance. But it's gorgeous. It really is beautiful. Um, and this one has really, really good lasting power too. My first bottle was like an older bottle. This is a newer bottle, but even the newer bottle, I still easily got eight hours out of this and you don't really have to overspray. Um, yeah, I think I went in with like maybe four to six sprays, which might be overspraying to somebody, but that's like a normal day for me. Um, yeah, I went in with maybe four to six sprays and this one got me through an entire work day. So it's definitely a really good performer. People absolutely love this. It is a crowd pleaser. This is gonna be one of like the more challenging ones on this list, but it's not challenging in any way. But anybody that maybe doesn't like pink sugar um, might not like this, but this doesn't really have a burnt note to it to me, but I could see somebody comparing it to that and maybe not liking it, but it's this is an easy reach for me. I think that People love to smell this on you, and yeah, it's just a really, like, it's just a crowd pleaser. So anyways, that is Juicy Couture Gold Couture. Okay, this next one is, I'm so glad I have a big bottle of this because this is another one of those fragrances in my collection that is one of the most easy to reach for crowd pleasing, like, fragrances, hands down. And that is Karl Lagerfeld, and this is just, like, for her, Karl Lagerfeld. Um, it comes in a bottle that looks like this, and it is an Eau de Parfum. And this one, it's, this is another one of those just slightly sweet, slightly floral, well, not slightly floral, this is definitely a floral, but it's a slightly sweet, easy, light, floral, just super easy to reach for, super easy to wear, clean. 
It's like one of those that you're just gonna smell good. It's like the um, the Jean Lanvin where it's just, it's such an easy going sweet floral. It's one of those that like if your mom, if this was like her signature scent, this would be such a source of comfort, like this kind of a smell. It's just one of those easy, easy to reach for. I cannot imagine that there's a single person on earth this, th that this would be offensive to. Um, uh, it's just so good. And this one, I overspray it, but I do, I have worn this to work and it has gotten me through an entire work day. Um, I did go in with like eight to 10 sprays all over skin, clothing, um, hair, and it did get me through an entire work day. So the longevity on this one is not bad at all. Uh, people really, really like this one. It's one of those that you're just going to smell good. Um, it might not be one of those that you're going to get a ton of compliments. Like people are going to think it's your perfume that smells so good. They're just going to think it's you that smells so good, that you just smell sweet and feminine and clean and just... It's, it's one of those types of fragrances. So I really love this. Somebody, this was a subscriber. I think a couple of subscribers actually suggested this to me. And I was so glad that I picked this up because it really is, it really is an underrated gem. Just easy to reach for, crowd-pleasing gem. So anyways, that is Carl Lagerfeld. This next one is a Chanel, and this is one of the most, like, compliment. this is one of my most complimented Chanel fragrances. This is Chanel Chance Eau Tendre, and I do have the Eau de Parfum version. And this, again, just easy, clean, slightly sweet. This has a little bit of a tart uh, aspect to it. Just super easy, breezy, floral. Ugh, it's so beautiful. It's got like a touch of woodiness in the base. It's just easy. This is just one of those. Again, you're going to smell really, really good. Ugh, it's, like I say, slightly sweet. I love this. Soapy, shampoo-y, clean. So good. I get compliments every time I wear this one. Now, the lasting power, even with the Eau de Parfum, the lasting power on this is not great. I'm going to get maybe six hours max out of this. This is not one. I have worn it to work before, but I always am disappointed when I wear one of my Chanel fragrances to work because they wear off um, like at about the six hour mark, and then I'm left with no perfume on. But oh my gosh, do I love this, and I wear it at home. Super clean, sweet, shampoo-y fragrance. I love it. It's like one of those that you want to spray on when you get out of the shower and you're going to smell so fresh. Ugh, it's so good. So that is Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. And then last but not least, this is a new one to my collection. And this, I knew immediately this was going to be a wonderful, easy reach perfume. This is True Sardi Donna. This is the Eau de Parfum formulation. I do want to try the Eau de Toilette formulation. I've heard lots of good things. This is beautiful. This is shampooy. This is a clean, soapy, shampooy, or more of a shampooy. Yeah, a clean, shampooy floral. It's sweet. This reminds me a lot of my Orlov Paris. Or love fragrance. It's a beautiful, feminine, sweet, clean floral. Just one of those that would be great for any time of year, any time of day. Just easy to reach for. This is going to be one of those that when I don't know what I want to wear, this is what I'm going to wear, especially for a work fragrance because this thing lasts forever. Um, I wore this to work at some point last week and it got me easily through my entire 10 hour work day. And I smelled amazing the whole time. It does remind me so much of my Orlov. My Orlov is just a little bit, um, it's just a little bit more of everything. It's, uh, it's higher quality, so it's just, it's a beast of a fragrance. Not that this isn't, but this isn't, 
this doesn't perform as well as my Orlov one, uh, but they are very, very similar. If you guys are interested in me doing a side-by-side -side comparison of those two and doing like maybe in one of my updates videos, um, I would be happy to do that. But yeah, this is a beautiful, clean, shampoo-y, floral fragrance. Sweet, yummy, lasts forever, just a great all-around, easy to reach for fragrance. This would also, this would also make a great wedding fragrance, I think. Especially if you were having like a daytime wedding. You know, like in the in the summertime, it's hot out. It's an outdoor wedding. You're maybe wearing a T-length wedding dress. <laughs> like I can see the whole thing in my head. I could totally see this being a wedding fragrance. So anyways, that is Trusardi Donna EDP. And that's going to be it, guys. Those are a whole bunch of fragrances in my collection that I think are super easy to reach for. Crowd pleasers. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite crowd pleasing fragrance is. Uh, which one you guys reach for the most when you just aren't sure of what you want to wear that day. I would love to hear what you guys reach for. I do hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.